The primary election is just one week away now, and you probably know that just by looking at any busy street corner in Tulsa. That's right. There are campaign signs everywhere, but many are too close to the curb, and that's illegal. Two News reporter Marla Carter is live at 36 in South Lewis tonight with more on the problem. Justin and Karen, signs on this corner are supposed to be 12 feet in. Well, this one appears to be okay, although those, they're too close to the curb. And it's a problem that the city of Tulsa says is hard to keep up with. It seems they've inundated every busy city street. I know that lots of people will be looking at them. I get so oblivious I don't see them. Trying to uh, evaluate how many of whose signs there are out there. Whether you notice them or not, the Oklahoma Department of Transportation says many signs are sitting in illegal spots. It isn't illegal to have campaign signs on the right of way on a state highway or interstate. It's the same for city streets too. The right of way is determined by a fence or power line. If those aren't there, then a sign is supposed to be 12 feet from the curb. ODOT says for starters, it's a safety concern. Sight distance, blocks views at interchanges, intersections. A hazard ODOT crews have to deal with. There's no telling how many we pick up or remove daily. Taking down the campaign signs breaks us away from pothole patching and other maintenance activities that we've got to get done. The city of Tulsa is facing the same issue. Its inspectors take down illegally placed signs, but have a long list of other city duties to deal with, too. Whether it's an obstruction or not. They're annoying, but they're not an obstruction. It's something drivers will have to get used to, at least for the next few months. What I really don't like is after everything is done, a month later, they're all still just laying there. If you see a sign on a city street that you believe is an Ill illegal place, you're asked to call the Mayor's Action Center at 596-2100. Now, if you see an illegal sign on an interstate or state highway, ODOT asks that you call the candidate's campaign office to report it. Reporting live from Midtown, Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you.